Today, my fellow geologists, I want to learn how to fly. We need some elytra. So, yeah, we've now killed the ender dragon. So the obvious next step has got to be to get ourselves some elytra. But first, since we got just an absolute boatload of enchantment experience from killing the dragon, it would seem silly to not do a little bit of enchanting to see if we get anything good. Protection three, not exactly what I wanted, but I shall take it. Punch one. I don't even know what that does. I think we'll have to do a bit of research into that one. A sharpness three. Uh, getting a little better. I think I've got a sharpness one. I think I might even have a sharpness four somewhere in the box. I might be able to convert them eventually into a sharpness five, which is what I want for my sword. Smite four. What does smite do? Time to do a little bit of googling, I think. It appears like smite is just for undead mobs, so I don't think that's particularly useful. I don't really like mob-specific enchantments. Uh, oh, Unbreaking 3. Nice. Now, that is a better book, much more what I want. We can certainly stick that on something. Probably the pickaxe, to be honest. We do have Mending on our Netherite pickaxe. Okay, so I have another Sharpness 3 here, and I actually have a Sharpness 4, and we just got a Sharpness 3, I think, somewhere? Yeah, there. So let's merge these two Sharpness 3s. We go and craft Sharpness 3, Sharpness 3. This is a Sharpness 4. Sharpness 4 to get a Sharpness 5. Throw in our sword. Throw in our Sharpness 5. <gasps> God, that's going to cost us 15 on the enchantment. Okay, that is a little expensive, I must admit. Wow, that does add up. But Sharpness 5, it, it is worth having. Let's just do it. Sod it. And now that gives us a Sharpness 5. Knockback, Mending, Fire Aspect, Netherite Sword, which is really nice. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where it's going to be too expensive to add anything else to it. But... Maybe if we could get like a looting three was like the final thing for it, then I think that'd be really a very nice sword. So to actually get these elytra, apparently we're going to have to go to an end city. Now apparently to do that we have to go back into the stronghold, back to where the dragon was. So, unfortunately we've got to walk about another one and a half thousand blocks vaguely in this direction. Oh dear. Oh well, let's go. One very long walk later, we are back in our stronghold and back into our little portal room. Um, I was just about to jump in, but one thought has occurred to me. Should I be taking all my netherite stuff with me? I don't think we actually really have a lot to kill. I set up a chest here where I was just dumping some stuff. I, I, I might leave a few key things behind, if I'm honest. I just don't know if it's a good idea. I might even leave my armor there, to be fair. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I think we'll go and explore like this, because otherwise I think there's a good chance I'm going to fall into a void or doing something stupid. This is me after all, and yeah, I don't want to lose my beautiful netherite pickaxe. I would even make a bed if I'd brought any wool with me, but I haven't. So, cowabunga! Okay, here we are back on our slightly terrifying little uh, void map that we got spawned in on. Now, let's just get out of here before we get knocked off. So apparently, I'm looking for... Ooh. Not into, straight into the eyes of that Enderman, hopefully. So apparently there should be like a beam of light somewhere around here. Ah, since I'm here, I might as well pick up this dragon egg. Someone mentioned you actually have to place a torch underneath it. That's the only way to nudge me, Mr. Enderman. And then put a torch and then do it. Aha! You are right. Well done. Clever, whoever told me to do that. Um, so we've got to try and find this, this other portal, which is a... Is that it? That looks ominously like it could be it, doesn't it? A random floating orb which looks like it's got a bit of portal into it. Oh, I didn't bring an ender pearl. Apparently you've got to throw an ender pearl. Oh, well. I suppose there's a solution to this, isn't there? Thank you. That solved that problem. That was easy enough. <laughs> now, the next question is, can we get up here without falling off? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's probably the answer to that. Okay, I think we've just got to throw an ender pearl into it. Um, it's Q, isn't it? So here we go. Huh. Right. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I think Q. Perhaps. Um, yeah. Okay, let's let's pretend that didn't happen, and no one is to ever talk about that ever again. We're going to go back and get another ender pearl. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. And I, th I think maybe we throw it with click or, or with right click, probably. And I think that that might actually throw it. Hey, there we go. Have an ender pearl. Right. Then it died again, only down to three hearts. God, I, I missed my netherite sword already. 
Right, here we go. Take two. So if we, this time... Oh, I'm a bit too high now. If I right click... Aha! Oh, God. Right on the edge. Ooh. Right, that went a bit better. <laughs> you right click to throw ender pearls. You don't press Q. That was definitely a mistake. So I am looking for that. Well, that was easy. I was expecting that to be considerably harder to find than it actually turned out to be. Uh, an interesting question which I... Ah, so we do, that's how we get back. Okay, I was going to ask how the hell do we get home again. So, do we actually just have to bridge across there? Um, I guess so. So that, I think it's one of these pirate ships someone said, isn't it? At the end of the end cities. Oh, goodness, this is going to be entertaining, potentially. So, I brought plenty of blocks with me. I think we're just going to do a very long episode of bridge building. I'm going to be somewhat too high here, aren't I? I have no real way of lowering myself, do I? Other than sort of just continuing to block further and further, I suppose, because the ground gets high. I don't want to drop too far and die from fall damage. I think I might be a bit too high here. Oh! Crikey, it's self-destructed. <laughs> uh. And then we should just be able to mine down. Okay, right. Well, before we leave here, is what we need to do then is build a ramp up. Okay, there we go. We have a route out of here. So, this is clearly an end city, I guess. So, is it just a doorway in, or do we have to... Oh, that looks... Ow. Oh. What? Um, interesting. How long does this last? A second. Oh, dear. Ow. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure I really want that. But, 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 uh, it's like being attacked by homing missiles. I just want to go in the main door. Can I, can I? No, no. Ow, ow. Ah, I'm floating away. I'm still being attacked. No, this is not so good. Because my levitation is going to end. Oh, God, I'm too high. I'm too high. Let me go on the shelf. Stop. 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 Okay. Four seconds. Oh, that's not so good. I got pushed away. Um, we're in a problem. Oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Please save me. Please save me. Please save me. Whew. Okay, let me just in. Let me in. I, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> oh, I think I'm okay. Wow, those levitation things are a bit concerning, aren't they? They're definitely not ideal. They send you uh, flying all over the place. Oh, no. Here we go again. Can I just duck? No. Okay. Brilliant. Um. Oh, oh no, I've turned on sticky keys. <laughs> I've tried to shift down. Okay. Oh, there's another one here. Look, stop. No, 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 no. Um, bad, 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 uh, bad, bad, bad. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what to do. How do you stop? How do you stop? They're just going to keep shooting forever. I'm going to run out of blocks and they knock me off. No! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! I'm going to fall and die! Oh no, I'm out of range of the blocks! They're still firing at me! I'm going to levitate forever! Listen, I've got no way out of this, have I? Ah oh, no! This is... <gasps> please, 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 please! Oh my god! I'm temporarily alive. I might just build myself a box. This is this is a lot more harder than I thought it was going to be. Now, why do I keep floating away? I think some internet research is required to know what the hell is going on. Because I don't see how you can get near anything if, if as soon as you go near it, you just end up floating away. I don't understand quite how you're doing that. So, yeah, I think we need to do a little bit of research. Just been doing a little bit of research. Apparently, I should have brought some water, okay? Kind of makes sense. But apparently, these chorus fruits can be helpful in terms of putting you back on the ground. And we can apparently kill stuff that's in the way. Uh, so if we've got any shulker boxes around here firing the levitation things, that way we can attack them and get kills on them, apparently. So I think I want to be getting up to the top of there. Um, so let's just mine back some of my stuff, actually, because I think we're going to end up running out of blocks if we're not careful. So it's the boat that I'm really actually trying to get to. Um, but I think there is also other stuff that we can loot up here along the way. 
I'm not trying to loot these light sticks particularly, I'm just trying to get around the edge of the building. So we do want to get to some of this other stuff over here, but I also want to get to that place down there. Mm, okay, I'm starting to get a little bit closer now. My concerns are, there's a shulker box there on top. And I don't know what range they actually sort of draw aggro. So I might try and flank around a little bit more. I'm going to have to go back and get more blocks anyway, so... Okay, we've done a little bit more dismantling. I've, I've just slightly destroyed that tower, if I'm honest, but... <laughs> needs must. It must be salvaged for more blocks. Now, we see if we can get in without getting killed by this shulker box. Just waiting to listen for the... Do we just go for it or do we try and get inside? Let's try and get inside, I think. Because then we're at least slightly safer. We can't float away then. Ooh, there's a uh, brewing stand. Ooh, potion of instant healing. Ooh, I'll have that, certainly. Okay, we've got a shulker box here. So I think we can block them with our shield. Ow. Oh, God, he's floating away already. I assume I can't damage him when he's in block. Oh, no, we can. We can still kill him. Nice. Oh, dear, this stuff's hard work, isn't it? These are the elytra then, I think. Whee! Yes, we have some elytra. Nice. I'll even have a even have a picture frame. Look. Oh, let's have a look in the chest. Golden ingots. Some iron, some iron, some golden horse armor. Some iron boots with frost protection. Fire protection, nice. Oh, I'm breaking three mending diamond pickaxe. It's actually quite nice to be fair. Oh, protect oh! Protection for I'm breaking three. Respiration three. Is that respiration underwater? Now that's nice. I certainly have that. Stick the better boots on as well. That's probably better than my current helmet I've actually got. That's actually really nice to have. We've got some more iron ingots, some diamonds. Uh, I'm breaking three iron boots. Yep. Curse of vanishing. Oh, I'm not sure I want something with a curse on it. And blast protection three iron breastplate. Well, I'll stick them on because it's better than my current armor. That's for certain. Okay. Well, we've gone through a slight panic there, but I think I think we got rid of them for now. I don't think there's anything else shooting at me. So we've got a little mast up here to check out. I think we actually want to be killing the shulkers though to try and get a, a turtle thingy so we can actually make some shulker boxes of our own. I think that's something we actually want to do. And you get a very nice view from up here. We've still got the rest of the end city to technically raid as well. The real question is, do we risk, you know, falling and dying? Do we risk getting killed now? But essentially, I think we're going to have to go back down this tower and try and find my way back across because there's a lot more loot to be had, I think. Although it does feel like quite a risky game. <gasps> oh, gosh, truth. Oh, I'm really definitely someone much more cut out to a farming lifestyle. Oh, God, here we go. Okay. Don't push me out of the bloody thing. What on earth? There's so many of them. Oh, there's a thing there. Look. Um. I'm getting a bit low on health. I think I'm going to have to have my potion of instant healing. That didn't heal me as much as I would have liked, if I'm honest. I'm probably about to run out of levitation. I do not want to open the chest. I want to block with my shield. Die! Die! Just, oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Okay, come on, come on. Just die before I float away. Okay, you did die, which is something. Uh, if I can just hang on under here for a second. How long have we got? Oh, Christ, am I now going to be here a while again? Oh, here we go. Now as I merrily float away. Keep a carrot. Okay, oh. I'm standing in this doorway. Okay, he's dead. Where's that one coming from? Maybe I'm just going to... If I wasn't going to float away, is what I'm going to do is just block up that doorway. And that should, I think, then give me relative safety. Mostly. Ran out of blocks. Ran out of blocks. Oh, my goodness. I think I can now breathe. And I don't think I can be attacked. Unless they can, te well, they can teleport. So m maybe that's not necessarily true, but... We are at least partially safer, and we've found some chests. Okay, so we got some iron. We got an iron helmet of unbreaking respiration and fire protection, but that's worse than my... We'll have to start leaving some of this stuff. Oh, a fortune three iron pick. Now I will have that, and I'll get rid of the old one. Take the extra spare iron. Bane of Anthropods, unbreaking three, fire aspect three. It's probably going to be... The fire aspect would be nice, but the rest of it's probably worse. 
Okay, so let's think about getting out of here. Ow. Ow. So I think is what I might do is dash to the next doorway, and then at least I'm inside again. Oh, there's a lot of stuff shooting at me. Um, okay, apparently we're floating away. Ooh, this might not be such a good... Okay, we've got a little bit more time there now, then. Um, hmm. Uh, I may have made a mistake here, in the sense that I'm now about to float up here. Um... Mm, this is about to end, so I should be okay on there. Okay. I'd rather not get shot again if I can help it. Let's try and break into here. Ow. Right. Okay. Whew. Okay, some slight safety. Don't need a little bit of healing, though. Okay, I'm going to make a dash for the middle. Here we go. Hopefully I don't get shot on the way. If I can just get inside, that would be... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um. Wow, there's a few in here, apparently. Um... I hadn't actually banked on there being quite this many, if I'm honest. Um, I could probably do with getting shot by one or two of them. So that I can float up to the top. I think this is the only way I'm going to be able to do this. To be honest. Ow. 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 Come on. Lift me up. Rise me up. I've got not a lot of health left, have we? Okay. Okay. Um... Now, in an ideal world, just munch on a carrot, munch on a carrot. In the ideal world, most things are going to stop shooting me here now. If I sit quietly, you leave me alone. I'm going to just take that. Very unhappy people outside. That on. We're going to end up going back with a better set of diamond armor than I turned up with. Nice we now have a looting two sword. Um, I could have done with that looting two on my netherite sword, though, if I'm honest. Let's have a look in this chest. What have we got? Blast protection legs, not bothered by them. Aqua Affinity and Breaking 3, I think. Yeah, we've got a better helmet, really. So I'm not too bothered about any of them. Okay, there's some stairs in that corner. Let's try and sneak you round to there. Okay, there's something shooting at me there. Can we make that jump? I think we can. We can't. <laughs> but we've we've hit a room anyway. We've hit a room anyway. Um, 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 um. Baked potato, baked potato. Let's try and... I can hear everybody teleporting Shulker. Oh, I've missed. I fell off the stairs. Well, they can't hit me if I can't even control myself. I'm all over the place. Maybe it's time we just got the hell out of here. I mean, we've done pretty well, haven't we? I could stick on my light. Oh, no, that would be a risky game, wouldn't it? <laughs> I already don't really know what I'm doing. I think putting on elytra wings now could be maybe a bit too dangerous. So it's over there. Ah, oh, dear. I mean, it would almost be nice if... And if I, if I sort of stand over the edge, could this get me down a little bit? Yes. Can I just really cheekily? Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> that worked better than I thought it was going to, I think. Where am I? Don't look at the Enderman, but I'm also slightly lost. I think I need to kill an Enderman to um, get an Ender Pearl, don't I? Right, you've got to die. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I need those ender pearls because I need to get out of hell out of here and I think I need one to escape again. What we're going to do is make my way along my extremely twisty, turny and rickety little bridge. Hopefully, can you imagine if an enderman like popped up in front of me, stole the block that I was walking on and I fell through and fell into the void? <laughs> I kind of feel like maybe I should just crouch the whole way. Running feels particularly risky. Uh, I've just thought as well, I bet I've not got any blocks left, have I? Right, whatever you do, Evo, don't press Q. Here we go. Huh. Hey. Yes. Oh, God, this is just terrifying every single time you come here, isn't it? Right, let's escape. Oh, and it puts you actually back to your bed. Nice. Oh, it's night time, so let's grab a few. Oh, look at all the extra achievements we've got this episode. <laughs> wow, nice. That's pretty cool. Um, well, I suppose, then, we have got to give this Elytra stuff a little bit of a go. One thing I... Where they gone? Whew, slight panic. One thing I kind of want to do first, very, very quickly though, is stick an Unbreaking 3 on them. Um, Elytra, Unbreaking 3, Elytra with Unbreaking 3. Cool. I think that's worth doing because their durability will run out fairly quickly. But here we go. We're going to have a go at flying. If I can get out the door. It's not a good start. Uh, where should we fly from? I guess we'll just build a, build a platform. I think someone said you double tap space. Oh yeah, we kind of glided a little bit then. Should go from up here. Can we be Icarus? Can we go flying mightily high? Or are we just going to fall to our death? Here we go. Yeehaw! I'm flying! Woo! Ow. 
that's kind of cool. Okay, we have elytra. We need to make some fireworks and stuff. I think next episode we're going to have to build a gunpowder farm. Because um, we're going to need to mass produce fireworks so we can fly properly, etc, etc, etc. But anyway, that was all in all quite successful. We came pretty close to dying quite a few times in the end there. Dying slash just floating away into the oblivion through the uh, levitation. But we managed to survive, so all in all I'm pretty pleased. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it wasn't too painful to watch me try to make my way through the end cities, and hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you all on the next video.